Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look at Microsoft Shifts. So if you're a part of mid-size organization where you, your company can't afford to have a separate tools to manage shifts, schedules, then probably this is the right app for you. If you're already having MS Teams, then you need, need to just have one app added to your teams, which would make your managing your schedules, your shifts and time offs in effective way. And if you are still part of big organization where you are in charge or manager of managing a team which is uh, which used to do production support on a 24 by 7 basis so the rosters or the time sheet schedules has to be like changing every time every other week so probably you can create this uh, ms shifts app or schedule uh, for your specific team so that you can manage shifts in your production support environment in an effective way so it's it's uh, useful and effective for both the areas if you're a part of mid-size or if you're a part of big organization and want to manage your own team. So I'll just walk you through what is this shifts and how you can create shifts and manage shifts. So using shifts you have to be in your teams. So I'm over here in the, in the teams because it lies uh, very well with the teams to directly go to one place and create your shift schedules and manage those as well. So what you need to do, you have to go to this three dots, add more apps. And if you click on shifts, it will, if you are using that for first time, it will give you one pop-up and the pop-up would uh, look like this. So create a team schedule. So you, if you are owner of uh, your team, then uh, you would be given the options of all the teams where you would like to create the schedule. So you can click, you can manage any of it. So let's say like I'm, I would like to create schedule for my this exam team and you can set up the timing. This would be the default timing for that shift. And the new schedule would be created for this team. So when you get into this schedule page, you will see you have these three top options that is schedule, requests and settings. So we'll just start with settings. So setting is just like uh, you can where you can set up your time, you can decide your schedule start of the week. So if, if I have to start it by Monday and you should allow to copy the shifts, then you can enable it. That means like you can just right click and copy on any of the shift and then paste it. Allow employees to view and open the open shifts and schedule so you can keep that enabled. So these are these type of uh, settings you can do for you this entire schedule request what type of request you can allow so you can just add and delete like and add uh, custom as well. So time off or a uh, uh, schedule swap if you would like to swap your uh, schedule with somebody else then you can do that as well. So these are basically setting for you this entire sh uh, this shift schedule. And then I'll go to the request. So request, as I said, uh, if you are part, if you are added to this schedule, then you can, being a member to this schedule, you can request time off uh, to your manager who is managing this team. So you can just set up, you can just start, set uh, start and end it. Reason for this time off, you can just set and then send request. Swipe, you can swipe your shift. For example, you are not, not available in your night if you are in production support, then you can swap that with your team member and offer, you can just offer the swapping as well, like I want to offer this shift so to this team, team member. So this same is just swapping like if you are agreeing, this offer is like you want to propose. So this comes under request and schedule is simple. That is, you can see like at top, we have these days of week. You can change the view using this. You can just have the single day view and this monthly view and weekly view. So weekly view is pretty much clean. So you, I would recommend you to, to use this weekly view. And if you are an owner of this team, because I am owner, so you can add up your team members by just looking up from this add people. So you can add multiple person from your team. So once you decide like uh, this team uh, would contain these these members and you can also have the groups for example if you are having your partial team sitting in in uh, 
uh, offshore and the partial at on site then you can just split that up because the timings would differ for on site and the offshore team so you can just rename this as on site team and you can just create one more group click on add group so it will just give you this another section where you can just say like offshore team so you can add multiple people to your offshore team and once these people are added you are fine to adding the time schedules for these people so you can just pick the individual boxes for example if we are sitting on Wednesday then I can just click on this box and I can just say add shift so once add shift clicked then it opens one detailed page where you can sp specify the timing of the shift you can specify the label product support and break you can specify how much break 60 minutes break and adding the notes to your schedule so you can say like production support of corporate application so once you save it this entry would appear over here and you can do the same thing for other members of this group so in the to copy you just need to right click on it and copy this and once you click on that copy it gives that include the shift activities when copying shift so you can just turn off or on based on like if you have the same shift activities and then you can paste that for your other team member just by right clicking it and saving it so once you're done, so being a manager of this team, once you're done creating this entire shift for your team, you can just click on this share with this team. So once you click on this share with this team, with the team, then this entire shift would be visible to your entire team. So it will be in sort of published state. So you can just click share. This will give you one pop-up where you can just select only affected members or entire team so you can just say click share so it is now shared with your on all the team members they can view the schedule in their teams as well so this is how you can create and uh, being a manager you would be having responsibilities for approving the outstanding time offs from your team members so if if a team member logs in and request create a new request for time off then being a manager of this team, you would see all the request appro approval requests in your pocket over here. You just need to go and approve those requests. So, and there is one other thing that is clock in. So if you want to just start whenever you are logging, you need to just like click on this clock in. Being a team member, what it does say, like it will track your all the activities and if you are away from your this device you can just in remotely you can click on this button so it will include this uh, this location detection for the mobile app as well and you can also set the location if you wish so i can just click on turn on so it will start recording my this time your clock dates in so now my timing is being recorded so pretty simple but pretty effective if you are still using your excel file to manage rosters for your entire big big team because these production support teams they usually work in flexible shifts so it could be effective way whether you're part of big organization or small organization but it's a right and effective way of using or maintaining your schedules for your entire team and if you're a manager if you're managing multiple teams then you can have multiple teams listed over here and you can in single click you can able to view all the uh, open shifts for your team so it's pretty awesome and simple as well and one more thing uh, this teams this shifts can be tied up with your intranet very seamlessly so if you if you want to uh, give your employees a simple way of like entering the times then you can bind up this shifts app with your this uh, intranet where they can just directly see like whatever shifts being assigned to them or they can just directly by clicking one button they can just start uh, adding their time or asking for time off so this can 
simply go with this dashboard so i can just add it this dashboard so if you if you are managing your intranet via my, this viva connections then probably like you can have this in place as well so this is a dashboard which is given by viva so what you can do you can just go to your intranet site This is my internet site that was the older one. It will give me the Viva connection. And when I click on this Viva connection, I would be able to view my dashboard. And this dashboard have the cards related to different different apps. So I have one card that is related to time off. This shifts. So if I just click on this add a card, you would see like frequently used. You can have your this shift app over here, and this would enable the intranet users to mark or add their entries the time of entries in single click so this provide a very seamless way of integrating microsoft shifts with teams with intranet so basically like as i said the microsoft shift is very useful app and it will save a lot of time for you and increase your productivity that's it for today if you like the video, please do subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you.